It's already in a frenzy, and we have yet to drop the puck for game number three here tonight on EA Sports. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Pitmar's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. Tassels won the draw here in the defensive zone. Toledo's across the blue line. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Here they come down the right side and on the attack. This is a real tough play for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area. The puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. The fuel has dialed up the intensity here quickly in this one, already up by one. You know that the coaching staff would have had a very clear message to the team before this game. Do not give the opponent any life. Do not allow them to feel like they can get a hold of this game. You know how you do that, James? By getting on the board first, early in the opening frame. That's the puck on net. Oh, turns it aside once again. Petrozelli's been struggling to put up some numbers, and it can be frustrating to head into a pointless street and it continue. When that happens, you start to get down on yourself. It can really affect your confidence. So you got to focus on the little things and try and keep good habits. Moves it to Malone. Oh, excellent play and goal there. Toledo's got the puck in the defensive end. With possession along the wall. Forces the turnover. Steps up with the block. Cairns works the puck in his own zone. Toledo's ready to go on the attack. And now he passes it to Baraldo. Gaining momentum along the wing. Picks up the puck in his own end. Fires it into the offensive zone. Krapovesis plays it now. Steps inside the line. Moves it to the middle. Only comes up with a stop. Looks to set up at the point now. Too much congestion in front. Toledo's got a hold of it along the wall. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. Along the right side into the offensive zone. And he was ready for that one. Receives the pass. Fires it. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice flash from the leather on this save. The shooter's in a great A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the club and makes the save. Indy's offense is off to a good start here in the early goings. And off the draw, they win possession. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Sawchuk's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Back at the point, they set it up. Close, but not close enough. Moves the puck up to Hadfield. Stop! You want to be able to get that puck in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Lance won the draw inside the neutral zone. 
Kanye's got it against the boards. Here's a centering pass. Off the stick, and they can't complete the play. Toledo's in now. The Fuel have possession along the boards. Kanye's got it in the offensive zone. Craig's takes the puck. We got a penalty coming up here. Quick feed to Hawkins. Misses a golden opportunity there. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Palmer's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Oh, what a save with the puck by Weeks. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Limo slides into the face-off dot, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. From the point, looks to make something happen. Picked up by Baker. Here's a chance in front! Oh, what a chance! And he fanned on the puck! Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Quick shot! Stops that one! Rips it! And does it again! Coaches are always saying you gotta give it your all, and this goaltender, well, he's going at it with full force and his full head. This one hits his mask, and he gets a jolt. And he slides it quickly to Santazzo. Weeks freezes the puck and opts for the whistle. Hillis gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. Goldberg standing up, ready to go. Denies him on the play. Indies killed the penalty. A really nice job by this PK unit, James. Just negating scoring opportunities. Good goaltending as well. Got to be your best... Killer, but finding ways to get it down the ice and keeping this game tied. Indy's got the puck along the wall. Toledo's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Slick feed. Oh, a save with the glove. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Look at this along the wall. Here's the call. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Face-off coming up, and Cheryl, a critical one at that for both sides here. Well, you know that the goaltender is extremely fatigued. I mean, just look at the last shift. I mean, in their own zone, finding ways to get the puck out. And, of course, the opponent just owning play, hemming them in, and finding ways to get the puck to the net. So they've got to continue that pressure. And if you're on the goaltender's side, you got to make sure you get it out of the zone and give them some rest. Here's a short pass to Petrozelli. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Oh, and he can't. Christian! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift, and you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. The Walleye have taken a one-goal lead here in the latter half of the opening period, and nice job by them. Yeah, really nice job, and they generated a lot of offensive opportunities because they've owned the puck, James. They've been first to it to retrieve it, and they haven't been afraid to put it to net. A lot of shots going forward here, and they've been rewarded because of it. Into the offensive zone now on the attack. Puts it on the scores, and we are back to even. Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they just created and doing something with it. 
This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We got a tie game. And after the draw is centered, they've got a hold of the puck. Indy's got it along the wall. Here's a chance and makes the save. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. We can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Indy's got it, and they're on the attack. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Toledo's got it across the line. Slides it diagonally to Sachuk. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Sends the pass over. Barovo's taking it from his own end. Delayed penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. Baker's going off for boarding. play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Here's a shot! And the puck dies with the trapper save. for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Indy's won the draw. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And they put it off the glass and out. Well, the shorthanded unit, they find a way to get to this puck first, James. And the tough part there is you've got to get it on your stick and off your stick quick. As you know, the power play unit is going to be coming. This is done perfectly. Hill is hoping for some puck luck here on this face-off as they continue to play shorthanded. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. From the point, they take control of it. Puts it wide of the net. The goaltender's really challenging, and there's not much net available. He's looking to really fill it, and he can't find the spot. X marks it. He doesn't hit it. Getting into the later stages of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Baker's almost out of the box. The man advantage is over. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. A tremendous job by the PK units, James, to get out there and show hard work. This is exactly what it takes to kill a penalty, and they did an excellent job. Good hit on the play. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Here's a chance. Turned aside with the glove by Weeks. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw.
And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Toledo's going to start with the puck in their own end. Gets the puck over to Denomi. Toledo's gained the line and into the zone. Keeps possession. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Pinned up along the boards. And now it's over to Sawchuk. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Hammers it on net and just got a piece of it to keep it out. Number one will take a breather, I'll recharge. The players will too, and we're coming back with period number two right after this. And you can call us right now for details. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. Neither side giving up much in the opening frame, and here we go, still tied up in the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Weeks has been amazing in this game so far, James, and really the only reason this game is tied. The team in front of them needs to find a way to generate some offense, but also to protect him in front of the net. Shot! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Indy's got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Malone. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. And they continue to apply pressure here. Cairns carries the puck in his own zone. Gaining momentum up along the side. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Santazzo's got it along the wing. Oh, what a save by Weeks. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Keenan's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Oh, what a close save by Weeks. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Toledo's won the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. Quick pass to Baraldo. What a chance, but can't finish. Well, you gotta make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. And he loses control here. McGrath's gonna play it against the half wall. Moves the puck behind the net. Quick pass across to Baraldo. Indy's got it in the low zone. And that's broken up by Keenan. Toledo's got the puck along the wall. And that's blocked away. Slides it over with pace to the court. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Over the line they come. 
strong defensive effort. Back to the ball line. but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. The Fuel have taken a one-goal lead here in the second, and they're starting to really show a little more confidence out there. Yeah, I think they've been a little more urgent as well. It's like they put a push on in these last few minutes, and they're rewarded for their efforts, but they have to stay aggressive. This is no, by no means a comfortable lead. Let's see what the officials are calling. You're trailing by one and you take the penalty, not the way to get back in the game. Indy's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Puck is dropped and wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Keeps the hold of the puck after that knock. Hooked away in the neutral zone. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The Fuel have gained possession off the wall. Feeds it to Malone. Cuts to the paint. Toledo's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. The Fuel have taken to the offensive attack. Denied by the goaltender. Here he is with the backhander. Martin's exploring options with the puck. That's blocked. Man advantage is up. Both teams back to even strength. Cameron's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the sentence. When everyone has a role, this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. Indy's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Indy's got it in the offensive zone. is perfectly executed, James, but it all starts in the dot. You want to win that face-off because the setup, that's the most difficult part, and then they get all of the options ready that are available to them, and they find a way to attack the net. The Fuel have extended the lead to two here in the second. I've liked their game, James, in all three zones. They've played sound defensively, they've had speed through the neutral zone, and they've executed when they've gotten into the O-zone. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face-off. Moves it to Hillis. Just gets enough to keep it out. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. McGrath's got the puck. Sends it out front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Denies the shooter on that play. Weeks has been really focused in the crease tonight. You can tell that he's tracking the puck with ease and comfort. But his team is playing really well in front of him as well. They're gaining confidence off of his saves, and they're creating opportunities in the offensive zone. Quick feed to Baraldo. Toledo's got it in their own zone. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Indy's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Lemos wins the defensive zone faceoff. Cameron's lugging the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. And that banks off a stick. The Walleye have gained control of the puck along the wall. Craigs looks around. Sends it down low. Sanchuk's got it deep in the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Donomi. Takes the feed. And he gets just enough to keep it out. Here's a shot. Oh, they do it again. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Moves it quickly over to Limos. Two on one. Here we go. A pass. Oh, what a save. Martin's got the puck in his
his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a shot. The walleye have taken control of the puck. And he can't hang on after that hit. Across the line from center. Indy's looking to break out of their own end. Cairns is tripped up, and we've got a penalty coming up. Great reach with the poke check. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Oh, the save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. And that's the third call of the period, and it really looks like they weren't dialed in or ready to play in this game. And preparation is key, otherwise things like this happen. Success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Quick pass to Malone. Martin's going to play the puck behind the cage. Indy's on the attack. Battle along the boards. And that's knocked away by Barogo. And he's ridden off the puck. But Dubo's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. Indy's looking to break out. Looking for space inside the D zone. Handles the puck. Lemos plays it against the boards. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up with the stop. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Well, in this situation, he is going to get the tripping goal. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James. Fishing for the puck, just used his stick and got into the skates. Tripping is the call. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. And man, has it been effective. Great stop by Pitman. Tucked away from danger. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Some tassels ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Face off deep in the run in. And they clear that puck. Scrum along the wall. Toledo's got possession at center. Goes right to the crease. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. And he takes the feed. Sintasso's got it in the defensive end. Indy's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it to the offensive zone. Swats at it with the glove and got just enough of it. Here's a centering pass. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Solid shorthanded performance there as both teams are now back to even strong. Oh, off the outside of the frame. Toledo's players are frustrated. They know that you don't get the great looks all the time in the game, and they also know how close this one is. They have to find a way to stay confident, continue with the game plan as they press towards the offensive zone. Cairns moves it into the attacking end. Takes a shot. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Taken along the wall by McCourt. Great pressure on the offensive end by Gagne. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Bednar. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Here in the later stages of this period, Indy's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Takes a shot. Stunned by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines, and this goaltender who does a great job of making it happen. Sawchuck's won it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Craig's. Oh, he hit it against the boards. Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Fish 
Marshall's ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Toledo's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they come. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time in space there and just crushes him. What a hit. There's the horn bringing period number two to an end. 40 minutes down, 20 to go. Third period action is coming up. exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Toledo's got the puck against the boards. And that goes off a stick. Takes a shot. And that goes off course off a body. Slides the puck over. That's glove by Weeks. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. third period despite leading in the shot department now they got to finish Keenan's won the draw and they're on the attack and the officials are calling a delayed penalty here looks like a trip moves it to the ground there's the whistle let's get the official decision once the stick engages at that lower half of the leg or within the skates you know it's going to be a tripping call and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. When the power play is struggling, you gotta get a screen in front and it has to be with good timing and recognize when that shot is coming. The walleye have the puck against the board. Scores! They convert on the power play and get it done! And it's so important when you're on the power play to have precise execution of your passes and you're able to move the coverage. That's exactly what they did and they're able to convert. The Walleye have pushed back here in the third and have made this a one goal hockey game. Yeah, tough pushback and sometimes when it's not working you have to make adjustments and those adjustments are really successful in this one. Toledo's got a hold of the puck off the draw. And now he moves it to McGrath. Summary Green! Scores! What an opportunity and delivers! He gets the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. left to be played in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Hillis wins the draw at center. Along the half wall with the puck. Shot makes the save, but barely with that one. Slides it quickly to Keenan. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Indy's got the puck along the boards. The Walleye have it now. Quick feed to Hillis. Across the line. Shot. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. He read that perfectly. 
This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area, and he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Loses his balance on the play. Quick shot! Answers the call big time! What a stop by Pitnar! Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Cameron's moving the puck through his own zone. Hooked away by Papavesis. Hammers a shot! Too much traffic in the lane. Here's a short pass to Donomi. Kalito's moving it into the offensive end. Oh, and here's the pass! And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We got a tie game. Santazzo's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Cameron. Across the line along the left wall. Geraldo stick handling in his own zone. The Fuel have taken possession along the wall. On the attack along the boards. Indy's got control of it now from their own end. Lemos moves the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Takes it into the slot. Big save. Lemos is showing his never-say-die attitude, and it's a reason why he's a leader on this team, and everyone looks to him by example. Why that example is in front of the net with a stick on the puck, falling to the ice. Last-ditch effort and attempt to get a scoring chance, and he does. Picked up along the boards by Baraldo. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Indy's going to play the puck from behind the cage. McTubal's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. With possession along the wall. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Here comes the call from the official. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Indy's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power play has just been average tonight, James. But hey, it hasn't been in the basement, right? Nice job tying up his opponent. Trying to clear the zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. And some good footwork to kick it away. Handles the puck at the point. Indy's gained possession along the boards. Hillis brings it in from center. Into the middle! And that's stopped! On the heels of their blades, trying to get it out. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Oh, smart heads that play to poke that one away. Shot! And that goes off the player in front. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed, and we are still tied. In the game of hockey, you can't worry about what happened on your last PK. You got to get out there and you got to find a way to do it. Otherwise, the coach is going to put another unit out there. Nice zone entry on the left side. Beautiful read of the defensive end by Keenan. Centering pass. Picked off in front. Cameron's got it into offensive territory. Takes it to the front. Hitler's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. More than half the frame has been played here. It's all tied up. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Indy's got a hold of the puck now. Puck grabbed by Keenan. And now it's grabbed by McGrath. Inside his own end moves the puck. Toledo's got it in their own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. On the backhand! Denies it in front. Turns another aside. And loses possession after a solid hit. 
the walleye have possession along the boards. Gives them nothing in front. And the puck's kicked free. Indy's got it in their own zone. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action. That's got to give you confidence and make you feel good. He got all of that one. Knocked off the puck. And it's a quick pass to Kanye. The walleye has the puck in the open ice. Indy's got the puck. Angles it over to Lang. And now he tries to get it across to Bowler. Fires it on net. Oh, solid save by Bednar. Handles it along the blue line. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. They've really got him on their heels here now. Tremendous magical passing performance here. Here's a shot. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly since an upward trajectory as this game's progress and they find the back of the net. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Indy's been locked up in a dogfight fight all evening long, but look at this. They pushed through and found that go-ahead goal here in period number three. Well, I think they continue the scrappy dog fight. Don't get in the mindset to sit back. If you sit back and you allow entry into your zone, guess what? You're playing defense. Get on the hunt. Get on the prowl. Stay on the puck, and you'll win this game. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And he slides it quickly to Lang. Moves into the slot. Coming up here. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. Indy's got a huge opportunity on this power play. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play and these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Moves it quickly over to Cairns. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. Pop clear to the defensive end. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Slides the puck across. Indy's moving it up the ice. Quick pass to Hillis. A shot. Oh, what a great glove save on the play. Sintasso's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Indy's got it, and they're on the attack. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Knocks the puck loose. One timer.
response I think a lot of people have been waiting to see from this squad tonight. They're still down here, Cheryl, but they're back in the fight. Yeah, they are back in the fight, and they're punching and kicking their way back in, aren't they? And listen, when you have a two-game deficit, it just wasn't as if they were playing their kind of game, and it's almost as if the nerves have settled in. It's kind of, listen, we've got nothing to lose here, so they're clawing their way in from behind, and this is a very dangerous spot if they can get back to equal. Well, hopefully you're just as excited as we are to call the next postseason game down the road, and we will see you then. From all of us here at EA Sports, thanks for joining us.